He's hailed as one of the heroes of last summer's Olympic Games. Yeah, Manti O. Mitchell's path to Olympic glory began right here in the mountains. But his comeback trail is now one of the biggest challenges of his life. News 13's John Lee with tonight's special report, Mantio's mission. Mantio Mitchell's rise happened as quickly as the injury that left him in so much pain. And now the sprinter is on the slow path back to world-class speed. You want to take your mark? Right off the blocks, drive, drive, every drive, athlete drive, faces drive, drive, hurdles. Drive. Sometimes they're physical. <laughs> And sometimes the obstacles are all in their heads. You know, I'm not crazy. <laughs> Can't get right without my music. Mantiel Mitchell has a one-track mind. I am a very mental athlete. Just warming up for a long comeback haul, recovering from the date that is seared in his memory. August 9th at 11.35 a.m. will always be somewhere up there. That's when he became an Olympic hero finishing his part of a relay after breaking his leg. Determination that paved the way for the U.S. to win bronze. No one knew that my leg was broken but me and, of course, God. But uh, It may be the only time you ever get to be on that stage. The achievement Mantio will always remember. Because this is something people like dream of. But at the same time, it's the feeling he must learn to forget. I close my eyes for a split second and don't. I try not to think about that moment. Putting the pain of that patriotic run behind him is the challenge. Can't stand doing those. As he trains at Western Carolina University. This is where I was born on the track. Now hoping <laughs> for a rebirth. How fast? Getting his speed back is not a speedy process. Yeah, nobody. Getting back what he had is clearly a work in progress. The labor of love that leaves him breathless. <laughs> Running a lot of reps at high speed. Guided by coach Danny Williams. My last 100, come on! Who Mantio credits for his determination to finish every race. I feel great now, because it's over. <laughs> yeah, me. No, nah, nah, I think it's just uh, uh, the way that we train. We have, if I can put it in one word, it's just tough. Set, go. It's not a sprint toward Rio, the site of the next Olympic Games, more like a marathon. It's been tough, it's been long, everybody thinks that you know, I'm back 100% just because I'm on a track with spikes on, but I'm not. Building his base back up and everything. I would say that my body's probably at 75 or 80% from where it was. <sighs> Mantio still thinks about his famous injury every time he steps onto the track, even consulting with a specialist to make sure the break of his career doesn't haunt him mentally. It's not the I'm laying on a couch type deal and she's throwing questions at me. It's nothing like that. It's just basically a conversation that takes me off the track. It's complicated, healing from the hurt that led him to Olympic glory. You go from August 8th being in the best shape of your life to August 9th not even being able to walk, sitting out for 10 weeks for rehab. So I think he's way beyond that now. Slowly moving back to the fast lane, where he can go for the goal. What I did was great, what I did was awesome, but what can I do now to build off of that? <laughs> <laughs> Next month, a significant sign of his recovery as Mitchell hopes to return to the track for his first competition at UNC Charlotte.